What is happening guys? Cowboy here. Welcome back to Darksiders. And I'm guessing we got a boss coming up. Probably, we probably fight him right in there. Uh, so, of course, uh, Monday and Tuesday's episodes I actually recorded last week. And so basically this is the first time I've touched this game in quite a few days. So, might be a wee bit rusty. Just letting y'all know. Oh, we're going to fight him underwater. That'll be cool. Is it? No, maybe we don't fight him here. I don't know. This area looks way too big for us to not be fighting a boss, you know. Oh, wait. Looks like we're supposed to go up there. It's like a column. Alright, well, let's explore this way then. Never mind. If we're not immediately up against a boss, that'll give me a little bit of time to get good again. Me alone. Oh my god. Never come here. Terrible place just filled with explosives. This was clearly a terrible vacation slot. Oh my god. These things ever stop? Just trying to look for treasure. Oh my god. All right. I mean, it wants me to go back that way for the boss. But I don't I don't know. Maybe this is the next area I go to. And oh, here we go. Nice. All right. Well, let me see. What is this area called? Please take your time. Is it sunken tracks? As you wait. Uh, yes. You make sure they scream, Alright, so this is probably where I'm supposed to go after I kill the next boss, especially the whole like, you know, be careful before you proceed. And uh um, Pentacle Man. And these guys are chumps in the water though. I feel like they wouldn't be bad. You know what? Let's go back. Let's go back. I have a fast travel, so I can jump back over here. Um, but I really think that I was basically like at a boss, and oh my god, damn it, not this shit again. Needs to be a way to plug the holes that spawn this garbage. Did I just come back and it turns out there's actually no path here? That would be really depressing. I mean, clearly there's those paths, but I think those are accomplished via um, the final power we get, the snow, blizzard, whatever you want to call it, power. Trying to... Oh. You know what? Maybe I was going the right way, and the thing is you can get to the boss faster this way, but you need to have the power. Because as soon as... No, go away. Go away. As soon as I... Fucking thing. As soon as I emerge up above the water, the skull changes its direction. Alright, well. 
Well, I guess we're going to go back the way we came. I was going the right way all along, I guess. Skull confusion, it seems. Go hold it. Here we go. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Come on, Fury. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. I was expecting a lunch. Oh, sucks. I was thinking it'd be great if I could multi mark these things up. I will say now that um, we have like multiple powers, we have you know we have we have different powers. We've leveled up a fair amount. I do think this game has gotten considerably better compared to what it was at the start. I think now now this actually feels like a Dark Siders game. Like I mean, I get it. You know, games have slow starts, but man, the difference is like night and day. Having the extra defense, having the the dodge, etc., etc. It's just it's, yeah, it really is. It plays like a completely different experience. And we're not even like real big on the the stuff. Yeah, there's still a lot more uh, we could get stronger. Like I know we're not really maxed out on our iframe dodging. Um, a couple of you guys were mentioning there's some some other. Actually, let me see something here. Have another enhancement. Yeah, so. Supposedly, the passive effects are always active, even if the weapon isn't equipped. So, even though I only have technically three on, I'm getting damage reduction, wrath generated per minute, and health. Which would make sense, because my wrath bar is full. But, you know what, just to test that, let's, um... You're not we're gonna just use that. And in theory... Even though we don't have nunchucks equipped, our wrath bar should increase, and it looks like indeed it is, which is pretty big. So that means that I need to go find one more weapon enhancement, maybe Havoc generated per minute, just to make sure I always have Havoc and Wrath up. But that also means um, I'm going to upgrade this. I want to upgrade that to uh, amount of wrath generated per minute, because the wrath generated per hit is... It's only active when I'm using the nunchucks, but the wrath generated per minute is passive. So I permanently have damage reduction, wrath per minute, health, and then uh, evade window. Which also means there is, you know, another one that I should pick up. Wrath uh, shard. I could use it to refill up, but we'll see. I'm going to probably, I mean, if the boss is coming up, I'll probably die first attempt anyway, just because, you know, no healing with the exception of a health shard. Um... And charge you enough. Oh, that was pretty good. The the swap mid attack. I feel I'm very proud of that maneuver. No. Oh, oh, oh. Like sooner or later, breaking open all these things is going to yield something, you know. Like small chamber. Oh, Might they be 
Guide the so we're gonna go up and we're breaking this stuff do, too. We roll. Try that again. Hello there, friend. Come and get it. All that leveling I put into Arcane, though, is actually starting to really show up now. Like, my counter hits. I mean, I'm hitting hard, and I'm sure Strength is, is a perfectly fine build, but my counter hits are amazing. I see, I see goodies up there. Y'all see that? Wait, hang on. Oh, this is... Okay, hang on. We got, like, a mini maze here. Wait, no, we gotta follow it. It's in there. It sucks, I need that. Go in there, and then you go. Air's in the way. Oh, but all the way around, and you can get whatever that is. To get that, it looks like this is something we access later, probably, because it's whatever's behind there. somewhere that's going to activate this and push the train over to here so I can jump on it. Where the hell is the switch, though? These are just stoplights. I don't see an actual switch on these. Hmm. Just... Yes. There we go. Yep. <laughs> It's all in the wrist. Right, now I need it to... So it looks like the track... Well, I don't know how to... F it looks like it, it'll go. We'll see, I guess. It's happening. Wow, look at this. You guys see this? I'm holding forward. You can literally get stuck on the track. The fuck game? Come on, man. Sure is hard to lift your foot up two inches to step over that railroad track. So I gotta find the, the track to, and it's it looks like it's active, but I gotta basically block off the other track to make this work. Which that I'm not sure about. Um, because I'm curious. Can I? Let's do something. I might be able to go this way and use that to get around. That might even be how it's intended to be done. Probably is. I probably go this way and I find the uh, thing that operates the track. Magical glowy powers to push that switch. Need something that, um, 
I know there is a thing that allows you to, like, passive health regeneration. I should pick that up next, just because times like this, you know, people health would be awesome. Oh, shit. Oh, I would have preferred not to you. Oh, God, no. Stop that. You will be punished. Oh, shit. Because, like, it's beating the shit out of the enemy, but it also claps, like, lightning clapping. It's the sound it makes, right? <laughs> Pretty good, right? Right? You're not laughing hard enough. This looks like it'll open up a shortcut, maybe? Yes. Shortcut back to, uh... Train station. Good. That means that right back here... Where my where was my thingy at? It was like right around here, wasn't it? And we're definitely coming up on a boss fight, like right now. Well, you know what? Let me just let me just go. Let's at least try the boss, see what it has in store. I only have one heal. I got a large healing shard, so I could max out. I mean technically I could maybe get through. I got a Nepsry Spite, I got a large healing. So this big thing is indeed gluttony. Hey you. Oh, oh man. Velocity on that is tense. go. That's a fresh Nephilim's Respite coming in. And, like, I kind of feel bad for Gluttony. You know, he just wants to take, like, a nap. Just sitting here, just, just like, oh, man, that lady booped me in the back of the head. I just want to sit here and nap and feel safe. And, oh, I hate these fucking things so much. God damn, I've become so much stronger. Like, that right there is a testament to just how strong we've become. Remember those things? Those things. And. Previously, when I would encounter those things. Oof. Oof. It's like when you wander into a place you don't belong in Dark Souls. Right now, having health regen would be perfect, because I could go into the fight full health, two Nephilim's respite. Well, I guess we could just go here to knock that guy down, versus having him drop down, I guess. And we... Oh, a fragment. Good. I wonder what the final weapon's going to be. 
We got nunchucks. We got a lance. We got a big hammer. We got a whip. You know what? We don't have a sword yet. Just a plain old sword. But given... Oh, we go. Cutscene time. Oh, look. There's a there's a jiggly thing there. That means there's probably a, a pellet fort. That'd be nice. A big old ham hock. Perfectly fake. Mistress, you must awaken. You must come back. Nice try. The lust already tried that. Gluttony. Mistress! Lots of mouths. If you can reach me. Perhaps I shall disembowel you and let you watch your guts spill out in front of you. Try your best, you bloated thing. <laughs> Okay, maybe back dodge on that. Put on fortification. So this is another boss fight where the hardest thing is going to be the camera, it seems. So without question, that's going to be the hardest part of this fight, to, to dodge. We have that super wide-ass sweep, and this is right before... Yeah, okay. Nice. And there's an alternate path we can take here. I'm really glad it, it allowed us to spawn right here. That would have been super irritating otherwise. What else we got in this area? Fortification shard. Nice. All right, well, we are already at 23 minutes. I'd say we save gluttony for next time. I got a couple different things here, so come. I would like to uh, go back to Maker's Forge. I'm going to upgrade, or try to at least, as well as get another enhancement, since I can get a passive one. So anyway, stay tuned. We will tackle gluttony in the part later today, and I will see you guys then.